Hi, and welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel, where I share with you my beautiful backyard here in Central Florida. I'm in Zone 10A, which is something approximating heaven. And in today's video, we're going to really get into a pressing question, which is one that I faced years ago, which is what is the best chicken to get if you're interested in having a good pet, or maybe what they call a lap chicken, a, a chicken that is very much pet-like. And I, I would claim that chickens are even more pet-like than some classic pets and that unlike some animals, they seek your attention constantly, which is kind of nice. It might be all about the food, but who really cares? They still are attentive to you. And uh, this particular breed we're going to highlight today is one that I think is also a top-notch egg layer. I mean, produces beautiful brown eggs. We'll take a look at those. So Thanks for joining me. By the way, if you're not part of the channel already, please subscribe. Also, hit that like button if you like this type of content. Let's go look at some of these cute little chickens. So this is my little setup that I built. I have a hen house that the slanted roof, small enclosure for the hens that I keep them in at night, and then I have this just simple wire fence which keeps these hens inside here. And we'll go ahead in and grab one of these little girls, but the, the hens that I'm going to show you today are called Golden Sex Links, and they are about the cutest little things, and we've actually, I'll show you a quick chicken trick that we do with them. All right, let's go take one of these guys out. All right, here. Jack, you want to hold it? You want to be in a video? Now, here we want to get her in the sunlight. Let's get her in the nice sunlight. Maybe speckled sunlight right here. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the beautiful wing on these birds. Look at that. This one has all the flight feathers intact see how wonderful they look. I love the crown for sure that these birds have and really pretty wattles. <laughs> she likes to be pet on the wattles. But a real sweetheart of a chicken. I mean just tame as can be. We were super happy we selected these. Now just to give you an idea, here are what the eggs look like. I have two eggs and I mean, they're pretty much perfect and they're delicious, incredibly delicious. So this hen, believe it or not, will produce an incredible amount of eggs. It produces basically an egg a day. So we have three, so we get three of these types of eggs a day. This would not be all the eggs we got from this type of chicken. We only have three of these little golden sex links, but we love them. Okay, so there is a beautiful golden sex link chicken, which is a cross between a Rhode Island Red 
and a Rhode Island white dwarf chicken, which produces this type of chicken, which they can sex link it because they know that the chickens that are golden color are the females. So the, you have guaranteed hens if you just get the golden chicks from this crossbreed. And they are a smaller breed of chicken. I guess you'd say hybrid of chicken. Some might say they're more in the bantam class. They're smaller birds. That means they can fly a little higher. That's for sure. We had to actually clip the wings on one of them to uh, prevent her from flying over. Don't worry, that's just like giving them a haircut. It doesn't hurt them at all, but it prevents them from flying over the fence and getting eaten by a cat. So we like that. As you can see, in addition to her not minding being held much, she loves to be held. You can see she's totally content. The beautiful coloration of these birds is not to be looked past, that's for sure. And since we feed them lots of black soldier fly larvae and scratch grains and all kinds of good stuff, they are very, very healthy. And then they were selected because they also have great egg laying capability. And for the size bird they are, I'd say the eggs they lay are incredible. We'll take a look at some of those. As they get to be teenage size, they're known for being excellent lap chickens, liking to be held, wanting to fly up and sit in your lap. And I would say that's accurate for sure. Since they're a little smaller, they can fly a little, a little higher than the lighter birds, the, the heavier birds that we have. But you can see this one is already falling asleep. Which one is this, Jack? Sunshine. Sunshine. Oh yeah, you heard your name? Back to sleep. She's gonna fall asleep right in your arms. This is the beauty of chicken as a pet. What other pet will fall asleep in your arms in that amount of time? Yeah, several will, but let's see if we can get her to just fall asleep. Uh -oh. Well, not this time. Hey, can you turn that pan upright too? That's nice. Thanks. Who do you have? It's a dog. Sally? She didn't share, she has like a couple of feathers. Yeah, she has a couple of feathers that are sticking up. Sticking up, I wonder why. I wonder if she got hurt a little bit when she tried to fly up to get the pigeon piece. She that was Ponce. Oh, that was Ponce, it wasn't her? I don't know why it's sticking up like that. I'm gonna have to take a closer look. But otherwise, I think that chicken looks pretty healthy. She is getting big. Another bird that will produce one egg per day. I'll go ahead and grab some of those so we can look at them. Here's what the eggs look like. They're a little lighter color than the golden sex links. And 
maybe a little smaller, really, but also excellent tasting and about one a day. For lucky two. Maybe two. Sometimes they've actually laid some that were double yolks, two yolks and one egg. Mutant. All right, let's take a look at the barred rocks, which are a bigger bird, but also sweethearts. They don't like to be held quite as much. But what brilliant colors, especially in the sun. You can see the board rocks have a super huge crown and big wattles. But they're a little bit more, a little bit more spicy, let's say, skittery. They're definitely much bigger, but really their eggs are not bigger at all. Sometimes their eggs are even a little smaller, which is strange. You can see these don't like to be held as much, but they will definitely, they do definitely get mellow and just hang out with you, but they take a little longer to relax. Whereas the golden sex links will be just falling to sleep in no time. Look, she's trying to go to sleep. These hens know that when they're held like this, they can just go to sleep. I'm gonna raise this up. chicken falling asleep. Okay, Jack, so what's the plan? <laughs> Which chicken do you have there? Sally. Sally. Seems like she might be getting relaxed now. Peaceful night, don't you think? Yeah. Want to go check and see if there are any eggs? Sure. Somebody might be laying an egg. Right. Oh no, really? Yeah, hold on one sec. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in there. A chicken. There's a chicken in there? Oh man. Well. Does she have any eggs under there? Oh. She has like a bird. We forgot that we need to put chips in that, yeah. that far one. I forgot about that. I, they, they didn't poop in there, did they? No. Well, that's good. All right, well, we got a barred rock hard at work. Let's see how gentle they are. Not broody at all. Broody is when they want to protect their eggs. Yeah, it's a good system. And you can see along the bottom that we did a careful job to make sure they have lots of ventilation in Florida. That's very important. And then just a simple corrugated plastic roof. They have a huge space to run in back here. Lots of places to roost, plenty of places to hunt for bugs. They really live the life. This is the side area that they eagerly jump out to every single morning to get as many 
pigeon pea flowers as they can get off the ground and any bugs they find that they can ambush quickly. This time of the night, they're really not that noisy at all. I mean, they're just cooing. The hole over there is made by the dog. There's a dog, yeah. Got a dog on the other side of the fence. We don't want the dog to get in here and eat our chickens, so we might have to shore up our defenses a little bit. Worst case scenario, Blondie would go under there. Yeah, let's, uh, let's put some stuff up along there. As a matter of fact, I think we could probably put these, these, these big logs. logs, palm logs. You want to do that now? Here, I'll tell you what, I'll do it. Okay. They've practically been destroyed. They're gonna try to eat the bugs under there for sure. Perfect. That's a good solution. Ooh, look at this. Wow. Look at that. Both the logs have practically been destroyed. I just put it right in there. Just like that. All goes back in. That's the thing, just leaving wood here as fast as possible.